here with a one and one record and it's so tight in this group a win for either team could put them in joint top if Turk Telecom lose their game in this season. Such a home call here. Unique in Basel Champions League. Fans feel like they're climbing out the crowd at you. So the last game, the nightcap game on game day three in Group A. And wins for Holland, for Strasbourg and Turk Telecom remain unbeaten and sit proudly on top of the group. A win here for either of these teams will move them into joint second place with Manresa and Holon and Strasbourg. So this group already is tight. Here are the standings. There's the Turk Telecom with a three and zero record. And a win for either team would take them to two and one. And a loss will drop the team to one and two. It's very early days, but uh, a win at home in particular for Sazali is such an important thing for them to get at this stage. You do not want to be dropping home games in the Basel Champion League regular season. It will come back to haunt you come playoff qualification for playoff time. Here is the Allstead roster. They arrive here, a couple light, but most importantly, Siobhan Thompson is here. Leads them in every stat category except assists and has had a huge impact on this team. Disappointing loss followed in the Belgian league, not to Antwerp as well at the weekend. They dropped to four and one and joint top, having lost to uh, Limburg United in Belgian league play. Cesare's roster, Curtis Jarrell's so experienced that uh, across the roster, they're really led by Deshaun Pierre, Canadian, 198 forward leads this team in rebounds points and efficiency and second in assists it is a one-man wrecking crew and cesari are leading heavily on him as they try and establish themselves they sit second in the italian first division 87 70 win in cantu at the weekend he tells you this team is in a, is in a good place and the home fans will be expecting the home win. And that will push them into a tie for second place in Group A. So Ostem just about to be announced to the fans here in Cesari. No shot Mark Weather this evening. That's a huge loss for Austin. But Brian and Gola, the shooting guard. Second in efficiency, second in points, second in rebounds, and third in assists. His combination with Chevron Thompson is what this team is building its uh, season around. They still have the veteran leadership uh, of Sam Georgievich at the point guard spot. And coach Georgia has been at the helm for some time now. The home team, Cesari, Dynamo Cesari, just about to be introduced to the home fans. Halloween night here in Cesari. 
And are they going to produce the horror show? Or are they going to put the frightness on Austin? Jamel McLean having a very solid, solid season for Cesari. Overall third ranked in the efficiency in the Basketball Champions League for this lineup. Dwayne Evans leads his team in assists, second in every other stat category, category in his partnership with Deshaun Pierre is crucial. Great range of experience on this roster. Everybody in the roster tonight. 25 is the youngest player on the team. That tells you this team is full of experience. There's Gianmarco Prosecco at the helm. Former national team player for Italy. He's transferring his energy that he used to bring as a player to this team as its coach. Cesare is one of those home venues. It's always tough to win at. Island home teams have such an advantage in the domestic leagues. It's a different travel situation for every team. They're used to the traveling, leaving the islands every other week. So for a trip for Ostend from Belgium, it's not the worst trip in the world, but it's a tough one. The third team on the floor, Mr. Felic, Mr. Gurion, and Mr. Fuska from Slovenia, Israel, and Slovakia, respectively. The third team on the floor tonight. Nice pose by the referees. And we are fastly approaching tip time. Numbers wise, Ostend are having one of their most efficient seasons in the Basketball Champions League. Their shooting percentages are up. So much more efficient from a percentage perspective than our Cesare. Starting lineup with Angola and Djordjevic in the backcourt. Thompson is just so fundamental to this team. And it's key that Senegalese Abar Salah comes up with a performance. So a team under coach Dalio Gurja. Traveling light on numbers, some injury issues for Olstend. Got to try and come up with an away win. Away wins are so precious in these European regular seasons. Defend your home court, pick up one or two wins on the road. That's normally enough to get you to the postseason, and then you're on. You're back to two-legged. A two they get tired to get to the final four and then you're in a final four situation every type of basketball dealt with marco sipisu starts at the point guard spot Sean pierre and dwayne evans up front mario bilan the croatian big man is uh, is a real strong center presence for jean marco Poseco. Who's beginning to build a coaching career that he will hope will come some come, a, come close to matching the success he had as a player. Always important on the road. Establish a foothold in the game. Try and control the tempo early and make it a basketball game. Don't get into a trying to beat the crowd, keep the crowd out of the game, take good care of the basketball, and just be as efficient, especially be efficient early.
Carl McIntosh at the power forward. A bit of a Canadian reunion with Deshaun Pierre on the Cesari lineup. Both of them 25 years old. Coming out of the same generation of Canadian basketball players. So they'll be uh, more than aware of each other. I think it's one of these games where, it, for Ostend in particular, it's a bit of a defining game. They're up against it a little bit here. A little short-handed, difficult place to come and play. They've lost at home, they've lost in Belgium, which doesn't happen very often. Now let's see how they can bounce back from that defeat, bounce back and keep the momentum they have in the Basketball Champions League. Well, welcome to Cesari, the home team in white. Below Ostend in the red uniform. And we're underway and Cesari will have first look at it in the half court. There's a quick whistle and uh, Siobhan Thompson's going to pick up an early first foul. Perplexed is an understatement. Well, there's the hands in the back. Quite a clear shove, I think I'd describe it as. The early three out of bounds. It's good. And Cesari open up. With the Champier just ticking over. He's in a rich vein of form. Gets an open three. Knocks it down. Angola will move it on. Djordjevic gets the ball screen from Thompson. Djordjevic to the lane, floats one, gets the roll for two. And Dusan Djordjevic, if there's a complaint sometimes, the ball sticks with him. Quality player, just needs to play a little quicker. Bilan, well, it's all intents and purposes was a layup. McIntosh outside, guarded by Pierre. Little highlight time for Canada, one on one. Whistle on the plate. Dwayne Evans with the blocking foul. A little late, stepping in late. And then Gola gets the positive for drawing the foul. And Gola, ball fakes. Takes the tough turnaround and just drops it. Sweet looking jump shot. Wow, oh, 5 5 start. And that's a tough ass for Angola. Guarded him hard. High release, knocks it down. Jump hooked to the lane. And Evans ticks over the points. Both teams looking very fluid in the half court. Georgevich to the corner is guarded. Thompson just about hangs on. Moves it on. Angola has it. Gets the high screen. Angola goes up. Bilan falls. And the ball goes out of bounds. But that'll be a 24-second violation. Well, to be fair to Angola, it didn't help that... Uh, Almost got a little bit of a, a trip. Nice pass. Yeah, with a soft touch off the glass and the ball movement from Cesari was sharp. Djordjevic into the half court for Ostend. He doesn't have to rush. He's on the road. He wants to find a foothold in the game. Thompson comes down with a defensive rebound off the poor shot. He's got to put it up. Just about beats the clock. Doesn't get the roll. Chance for Cesari to run. They have numbers. Wide open on the break for three. Is long. Bilang gets the lean hour away, but doesn't get it to drop. Angola. Takes the early ball screen. Thompson rolls. Georgievich with a quick step through off the glass for two is good. 
And Georgevich looking really decisive early in this one. No hesitation on that drive. Bieland getting lots of touches early on. Goes to work down low, right hand, and Thompson just leans across and just rejects it. Almost contempt with the way he protected the ring on that one. Spins to the baseline. You're not coming in this way. Three is gone. And Sapisu can't get it to drop. Djordjevic takes the early ball screen. Steps back for the three and knocks it down. Djordjevic just rolling back the ears. The 36-year-old veteran playing with a lot of energy. And Osten had the 10 to 9 lead, and Djordjevic has 7 of the 10. Bilan gets the layup, and lots of inside touches for Miro Bilan. Oh, they settle for the three, and way off. Carl McIntosh. Well, it's not a setup. It's uh, let's not try and kid anybody. That's a setup. There's a lot of noise in the gym, though. The side where the cameras are on is pretty full, and they're already generating an atmosphere. Travel court. Uh, Marco. Spisu. A little disappointed. There you go. He hopped and then took two steps. So you've got to say it's a three step stop. San Djordjevic under a lot of pressure. Thompson relieves that, will hand it off. Thompson's there, finds an angle, gets the two. Such a target around the ring. Already one of the major factors on any team in the Basketball Champions League. Foul line jump shot is no good. Oh, got a whistle and credit Marat Bila just going to work on the glass. Amar Salah. I'm not sure what the. Uh, call is but that's thompson that's two quick release out of bounds is no good defensive rebound hauled in and austin three guesses and drop and great point of transition austin just uh, can't get back wide open look on the end of the break cesari for three is good and sepesu Strokes it and Cesari in transition at pace. Much to the the satisfaction of coach uh, Poseco. Djordjevic, little hesitation, tries to drop it inside, turns it over. And Salah's going to pick up the personal. Bilan will inbound. Oh, everything was absolutely perfect for Pierre, but he just couldn't get the finish. Great footwork, gets an angle, steps through. And then just blows the little gimme. But Austin fumble on the out of bounds. Wide open for the three is long. Dwayne Evans can't get it to drop. Ah, oh, it's a tremendous follow by Emma Salah. He leaked out. Gets down the floor. Beautiful find. Stays with the plate. And we've got a new ball game. 3.30 to go in the first quarter. 
catch, release and score. Tali off the bench just gets into rhythm early. Djordjevic steps back for the three, is no good. Ball bounces around. Pierre collects. I'm not really sure what, uh, what the issue is here. See if we can get some clarification. And somehow, Prosecco's picked up a coach T. Not really sure what happened, how that happened, what it does mean. And Cesari now only lead it by two. Wrap it round and an easy two. And again, Bilan's getting a lot of joy on the inside. Djordjevic looks down low. Inside, outside. Djordjevic thinks about it. Lows back inside. Spin to the far side of the ring. The two is no good. Salah's all over it. Can't come up with it. Thompson's all over it. And Djordjevic will take one for the team. That will be the fourth team foul for Ostend. <laughs> Jamel McLean checks in for Cesari. They are deep. Like Swartz checks in. He'll replace Mikhail McIntosh. Whistle on the play. Cesare with a 19-15 advantage, but they now find themselves on the free throw line. Chance to increase the margin. Vitali. Solid free throw shooter. Knocks the first one down. And goes two for two from the line. Paulius Sorokas, the Lithuanian. He's 27 now. Two meters two. Runs that small forward spot really nicely here in Cesari. Vitali goes to five points personal. Djordjevic, he's been really aggressive. Angola. Steps back, gets a little separation. Salah down the middle, floats one. Well, let's say shoots one. And the, I think there was an issue with a 24 second possession because the ball didn't hit anything. Sebas Basha checks in for Ostend as they go deep into their playing resources. Three is no good. Ball's hunted down. Open for three. Great ball movement. And Vitali knocks down the three, but it's all about the ball movement. They hunted down the offensive rebound, shared it really beautifully. Timeout for Ostend.
and the home club off to a great start. So, so important, coming out of the timeout, get something you want, give yourself a chance to build your defense. Oh, slipped on the vinyl. Seen that happen so often. We're gonna have to call the travel. There's an ongoing discussion about the vinyl advertising and the colors. Sometimes you're a lot slippier. There was no one there that caused Angola to, to slip except the floor. We may have to go back to clean floors. Sipisu will sit. And Cesari have eked out a nine point lead with 1.30 to go in the first quarter. Oh, attack to close out. Far side of the ring, off the glass. Tough move. Sorokas gets to the far side of the ring and manufactures the shot. 11 point lead, and Ostend's offense has just completely dried up. Oh, let's take a look. When Thompson gets here, only one thing's going to happen. Flushes it hard. Goes to the free throw line for the additional. Uh, three throw line. It's not always Siobhan Thompson's friend. Thompson, four points personal. Ah, uh, Jarrell's instant impact. He's just going to check and have a look at the last uh, last play. To Sean Pierre, interested uh, observer, is waiting to check in. Got to get over, look at the monitor, make the decision. One of the, the negatives to getting it right in this way is that sometimes it takes a long time. It's still a great innovation. Officials used to be making calls on the spot. 
can look at it three or four different ways. I accept that, but make the decision as quickly as possible. Otherwise, we lose the whole flow of the game. Well, let's see the outcome. Uh, they're just checking on whether it was a three or not. Again, it's important. Substitutions coming in for Olsten. Yannick. The zero on. Forty-seven seconds remain, and Cesari in control at the moment. They did this by twelve, with one to come. The second one is good. McLean knocks that one down. Thirty to seventeen, and Cesari just in the in the zone offensively. Last 15 seconds of quarter one, and Cesari have just been red hot. So important for Austin to get some momentum. That's not going to happen with a step back three. Still time to get a shot away here. Swartz with a tough lean away, doesn't get the drop. And that will do it for quarter one. Uh, just about to get on the way in the second quarter. Ball will belong to Austin. They trail by 15, and it's not a good 15 either because they've really stuttered offensively. In the lane, nice lift. Swartz for three is good. That'll give him some confidence. They really do need him, especially as they're light handed to really step up. Jarrell steps back for three of his own. Is no good. Van der Hurst gets it in transition to turn the corner. And Swartz is way off and Angola can't keep it in. So 
Cesari. Cesari into the half court. Curtis Jarrells is fouled on the penetration. And they look comfortable at the moment, Cesari. Look like they feel they can run and execute, get shots. Austin, it's down. It's going to be down to them to change the nature of the game. It's got to be at this end. Jurels will take the high screen. Nice find. Attack the closeout. Extra pass. Wide open for three is no good. And Sorokas can't get it to go, but they get the offensive rebound. Sorokas down the lane, off the glass. Stays with it, goes back up, gets the drop, and that's about effort. All over the bench. The bench love it. Three attempts did a, such a good job. And the burst needs a pass, finds one. Swartz wants to look inside, takes the ball screen. A lot of traffic. Van der Verst penetrates. Little floater in the lane is good. Building a reputation. Still young. Just 17 years old. Nice kick. Extra pass not available. Gentile. Baseline. Needs a pass. Finds one again. And Sorokas just needs a little bit more composure. Wide open from the corner. Three is good. Nice start to the second quarter. Nice start. The Leuk Sports, two from three from the three-point line in that period, really has ignited Osten. Timeout, Cesari. Let's see what Coach Prosecco has to say. Well, just a little bit of a refocus type timeout. Mario Bilan in shot. Mario Bilan had a really nice start to the game. Bilan, eight points on four from five shooting. Only seven and a half minutes. It's going to be a factor to Croatian as the game develops. Good hands. He's going to check back in right now. Curtis Jarrells moves it on. That's going to be a blocking foul. By a shot. Just got to keep that lead leg away so that uh, the offensive player doesn't have anything to beat. Bilan checks back in. Uh, Paulius Sorokas sits down. And Tile moves it on. Well, they line up the three. They went under the screen. They dodged that bullet as uh, Deshaun Pierre can't get it to drop. And the burst. Handles, gets inside and kicks. The open three off the penetration. And the spacing is rewarded again. And Osten really have the momentum at the start of the second quarter. Down now to a seven-point game. Jarrells will get Sazali into the half court. Bilan dives. The three is off. And Osten chase it down. Swartz gives it up to... Van der Verst, and turns it right back over. <laughs> 
Dwayne Evans checks back in. Six turnovers for Ostend. Six turnovers to two. And it's a seven point game. It's not hard to work it out. Evans trying to back in, going to work. A little shake and bake. And drew some contact. Kyle McIntosh. Trying to guard Pierre in the post. That's a holding foul away from the basketball. They're going to call it offensive. the first goes baseline goes inside with a pass great rotation took away all the space Vitali five out for Cesari Jump hook on the end of it. Tough finish. Sean Pierre just shows you why or how he averages 18 and a half points a game. Inside, outside. The shed drops it inside. A little bit over passes. Someone's going to put it up. They're going to go a three second call. Gentile will sit. Pierre with the pass to the inside. Oh, what a finish! If you're going to play tough, if you're going to play hard in the block, what's the way that uh, Evans uses his body to get an angle keeps his shoulders square to the backboard my shirt may look and put his palms up but that's tough Omar Salah checks in And Evans completes the three-point play. Swartz will get Ostend into the half court. And a burst whistle on it. I think the referees have decided they're going to call this tight before anything uh, gets a little bit out of hand. can't just shove a screener away. Salah tries to go to the middle. Takes the tough turn around. Is no good. Defensive rebound. Gives Cezali a chance to run. Tali looks at the options. Gives it up. Foul on the plate. Yep, you can see, even though the zero thought he was clean on it. Evans locks down the first. Averaging 16 points a game in the Basel Champions League, first two games. Those two for two from the line. Yeah. 
stolen. Just so quick. Evans just all over it. Straight down the lane, flashes it. And Austin palms up. Looking around, trying to find a reason. The only reason is they made a bad decision, made a bad pass, and with 4.45 to go in a half, Cesari dominant at the moment. And Ostend have to dig in here, find a way to stop the bleeding, and get themselves back on track. Well, that stat line, it doesn't make good reading for Ostend fans. 14 points off turnovers for Cesari. George Richardson come back in here. He's going to have to steady the ship. There's two things here. It's so long to go in the game. Cesari will have, really will dry up in certain parts of games. They will have periods where he just can't score. Backdoor pass. You see, can't get it away. Chance to run here. Oh, what a play by Salah, but... Get out, works on the glass, and Bilan gets the two. It's a white. Well, they've wiped off the score. Just over four to go. In fact, they now put it on. It's now an 18-point game. Dangerous, dangerous times here for Ostend. Salah's going to hand it off. Georgevich got to assert now. Takes the tough three. Can't make it drop. And Gola keeps it alive. Great effort. Georgevich will come off the screen. Now he's got a matchup. He should be picking it up when he has the matchup. And Gola floats one on the lane, gets the roll. How they needed that. Salah was so active on the glass. Steps to the baseline, nice cut, nice pass. And Binland's going to have to earn it at the free throw line. on the free throw line. Can't get the second one. And Georgevich will advance the basketball. Possession by possession now for Austin. Just work their way back in it. Angola keeps it on the floor, in the lane, kicks it, open for three, is no good. And the ball will stay with Ostend. Well, they go long out of bounds. They're going to gap that. 
And Gola, nice pass. Salah with a throw down. That closes it to 14. They could get into the half in single digits. They're right back in it. Whistle on the plate. And there'll be shots. As uh, Olstender already in the penalty. Fourteen point margin and Gola goes to two fouls. Only a fourteen point game for as well as Cesari have played and as poorly as Ostend have been at times. It's only a fourteen point game, two thirty to go to the half. So if Ostend can just hang in here, make sure it's a manageable number, get back in the locker room, reevaluate where they are, make the adjustments. They're right in this. And as I say, that throughout this season, Cesari will have, have had periods of the game where they just dry up offensively. They're right in the middle of one now because they, that's 0 for 3 from the free throw line. Fifteen point game, 2.30 to go. Georgievich, he needs to rediscover that assertive approach that he had at the beginning of the game. Puts it on the floor, gets to the foul line. Uh, the pass was there, the execution so poor. At the baseline sealed, all they had to do, perhaps take a dribble, create the angle. When your offense is struggling, get up and play defense. So Ostend extend the defense, man to man. Although Georgievich just steps off. Little flow there is no good. Defensive rebound pulled in. Chance for Georgievich to run. Salah's off to the races. Doesn't get a look from the from the point guard. Backdoor cut again. Easy two. It's becoming to bear fruit. Back to a 13-point game. They're hanging around now. Turn around. Evans off the glass. is no good. Defensive rebound. Georgievich has another chance to run. It's a long comeback trail, but they're on it right now. Angola kicks it. The ball gets stuck with Georgievich. Settles for a three of his own. Whistle on the plate.
can't get it in. And the night goes from bad to worse for Austin. They only trail 13. They don't need to panic. Just play defense. Just make it tough for Sazali to tick that scoreboard over and work your way back into the game. It's only a 13-point game. Far side of the ring for two is good for Bilan. Nice little baseline spin. Angola takes the screen, attacks Bilan, goes off the glass with a quick release. Poor finish. Bilan gets it deep, tries to step through, throws it out, wide open. Evers for three is good. Sorry, Pierre for three. Just spotted up, clear line of sight of the ball. 13 points personal for Pierre. 18 point game here. Cesari have, have a real chance to just manage this in the second half now. Nice pass, easy two. After getting back in it, or after scoring two, coach technical foul. That's Azari. Just tick the scoreboard over again. One point nine on the clock. Gonna have to put it up. Been out for three from the halfway line. It almost gets the roll off the backboard. And we have reached half time. Messy at times, yes, but Cesari with 51 first half points, a bit impressive. 51 to 35. It's not done because Ostend are capable of pouring in points. And more importantly, Cesari will dry up or have dried up in games. So it's poised at 51 35. In control is Cesari, but by no means. Is there not a way back here for Olsten? We can look at the stats. 62% from two, 38 from three. 51 point first half, Olsten down at 35. Everything else pretty even. So we're going to leave you with the highlights of that uh, first half after we get a look at the top scorers. Pierre, as he's done all year, has, is leading Cesari points-wise. Bilan's been very good. We talked about who was going to score for this Olsten team. We thought Thompson would be the man, but he's not there at the minute. Djordjevic has a really nice start to the game. He leads the scorers for Olsten with eight. So here are those highlights of a first half that saw Cesari build a lead and give them a chance to go two and one in the group. So we'll be back in around 10 minutes for the second half. We'll see you then to see if Cesari can defend the home court, go to two and one. We will see you in 10.
three minutes to the half. Oh, the weak side just opened up. The one goes straight down the middle and flashes one. Davis, meanwhile, gets in and makes a very tough reverse layup. No wonder they call him Jordan. Jordan-esque. Gilabatsa gets rejected. Well, what a block. I'll tell you what, Jeff Nimbo making a counter transition, and right now, Gazzard's have are just such a bronzes, but really, Aaron Nimbo is just taking this game over. Oh, what a play by Chris Wright! It looked like he had no chance of making that one, almost takes the shot while he's lying on the floor. Sam Bubbles now inbounds the ball to baseline. This is Hatcher. Hatcher spins around. Well, he's got to make that shot. William Hatcher, are you serious? This guy, veteran, is putting on a show. I mean, he looks like a globe trotter right now. Matulis, low post. His pass to Ray. Ray putting it on the floor. Oh, scoops it up and it goes for Kendrick Ray. Defender Almeida in the lane. Almeida for the win. Does it get it? But it's hit back to Zen. And now, Aaron Nimbert, they win the game with Hank is here in overtime. I can't believe it. Here's Almeida. Goes to the lane. Hank is comes up. Oh, that's game over. Aaron Nimbert now have won this ball game. Eight points now. Now, and that's a big time block. Big time defensive play. Not in this house as Gentile tries to get through. Over Solon goes up for the jam. There was no way Zabinov was going to allow himself to be on the wrong end of a post. What a tough catch by Martin, and he puts it up! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, he's made it! Was it Stone in the end? Unbelievable. These guys refuse to lose tonight.
Well, welcome back to Cezali. San Djordjevic in shot there, leads all scorers for Ostem with eight points. But he got those early. He came out of the gate really hot, really aggressive. Looked like he was going to be the one of the guys to step up to try and make the contribution to the missing points uh, from with the fact that Osten are here light-handed. He saw Jean-Marc Buema not in uniform. <clears throat> to Jean-Pierre, the Canadian forward, getting it done again. 13 points, four rebounds. And if there's anything, there's a major difference <clears throat> to Jean-Pierre and with the 13 and four. Siobhan Thompson, on the other hand, the two meter 13 Jamaican center averaging 19 points a game, an efficiency rating of 29.5. Four points, not really the factor you'd expect, only taking three shots, has an efficiency rating of four. And you look at the difference in the margin at the moment, and it's pretty much Siobhan Thompson's contribution that's missing from that Osten performance. Plenty of time though. Plenty of time for Osten to pull this around. But it's got to start at a defensive end. Osten are not a hundred point a game team. Cesare 51 in the first half. That's really set them up for a big second half. And that's what they'll be aiming at. But the only way that Cesare get back in this is if they can keep them in the 30s. And then that even that might not be enough. They try by 16. Get it back to single digits by the beginning of the fourth and you're in business. But it's not build it up to anything it's not it's a tough ask for Austin to come back there is time they do have the players but it's got to start at the defensive end and more than anything else Siobhan Thompson has got to come up with a second half performance where he really does become the dominant factor in the game Well, welcome back to Cesari. The home team in the white uniform have the commanding lead, 16-point advantage, and they will have possession at the start of this second half. Little hesitation. Pisu goes little pick and pop with Bilan, who just knocks it down. And he's had a super game. Here are Bilan gets into double digits. Well, it goes to 12, in fact. And it's an 18-point game. Six from seven from Bilan. And Gola kicks the open three from Omar Salah. And you just got to think, do you really want Omar Salah standing on the three-point line? Ball's knocked away. Georgievich turns the corner, gets to the foul line, thinks about it, goes inside. Thompson just barrels his way through, can't get the drop. 
That's a great effort on the glass. Super fine for three from the corner. And vatsali has been good all night. And we've got a 21-point margin. Angola looks at his options, finds Djordjevic. He's got to become an assertive player now, Djordjevic. His team really need him to step up. Five on the possession. Whistle on the play. Sapitsu. Uh, if you put the palm of your hand in the back of the big man, the referee's going to blow his whistle. It's one of those automatic things that happens. Austin can't afford. The game's not dead. Let's not be silly about this. And Djordjevic, even though he's wide open, six feet from the hoop, needs a second invitation to shoot the basketball. And Austin completely losing their way. Vitali, Djordjevic getting after it and will pick up the personal. Djordjevic charged with, well, I'm not sure if he was charged with a technical. Vitali, a little showtime pass through the legs. Milan waits and squeezes it off the glass for two. Timeout, Austin. If they do not stop the bleeding right now, this is going to get ugly for Austin. They cannot afford a big loss. The regular season is long. This group is tough points difference could become a factor what they don't need is a huge loss on the road So important for us then to get positive now. Outcomes after the timeout. Djordjevic baseline tries to find and does find the baseline pass. And Salah can't complete. And Djordjevic comes back down the floor. They try to go outside third to outside third on the floor. And that's a turnover waiting to happen. Angola, a little ball fake gets blocked. And Cesari just being relentless. The showtime's not working though. And you know that coach Prosecco is not going to be a happy coach. Whistle on the plate. Back-to-back -back turnovers by both teams. Djordjevic on the side will inbound. Salah goes inside out. Djordjevic tries to turn the corner. Offensive foul. And when it's... It doesn't just rain, it pours. Ostend on the wrong end of a 23-point margin. Seven minutes to go in the third. And they get that call, which was absolutely correct. Correct. 
swinging off the baseline, goes upstairs, ball's knocked away, chance to run, Djordjevic in transition, needs a pass and it gets all soft, McIntosh turns it over, recovered by Thompson who goes up, doesn't get the roll, gets his own rebound, he's fouled and will have to earn it from the three throw line. Siobhan Thompson on the free throw line. Austin have to do it possession by possession. Thompson misses the first. And he goes over two. And it's just not happening. Austin have to find a way. Light on resources tonight. Don't forget they have players out. Beat out inside, outside. The three is gone. And the shot. The Jean Pierre can't get that to drop. Djordjevic. McIntosh puts it on the floor, spins. Doesn't really get any separation. Now he needs a pass. He has to skip. Angola. Djordjevic is long with the three. Thompson's all over the glass. Powell's back up. And one. That's more like it for Siobhan Thompson. Dominate on the glass. Physical. Presence just went after it. Evans is going to be charged with the fouls. He just steps in. Thompson, this time gets the roll, back to 20, possession by possession, score stop, score stop, and see where it takes you, halfway through the third quarter, Vitali moves it on, he ain't getting so many touches, stack a move, balls off his thigh, Thompson's a dominant figure when he's active, Van der Verst. Van der Verst has it. Thompson will come and set the ball screen. He dives, not really, it's not executed well at all. Six on the possession. The turnaround jump shot is good. Back to back baskets. For Austin, the first time in a long time that's happened. Milan looks down low, goes inside. Evans has it, far side, he's blocked. Penetration, whistle on the play. It will be an end line or sideline ball. McIntosh charged with the personal. Well, as most coaches will tell you, if you can reach like that, you can move your feet and take the drive lane away. So you can't get the mid-range two to drop. Chance to make this a 16-point game. Upstairs for Salah for two. Timeout, Cesari. And all of a sudden, a little bit of momentum. Life being breathed into Ostend. Timeout, Cesari. Coach Prosecco has seen enough. It's back to a 16-point game with 4.47 to go in the third. Coach Prosecco, short, sweet, and to the point. He used to have that look as a player when he wasn't happy with his teammates. He now has it as a coach when he believes his players are underachieving. Uh, most importantly, not doing as he asks, but 
Some of that will be for show because his team lead by 16. They're in control. They can't lose sight of the fact this is a long regular season. If you get a big win, it really helps. Your early stages of the season, so use every opportunity you can to get better. Austin, same situation. Got to reduce this margin, give themselves a chance in the fourth quarter. Pass to the inside. Nice. Slips it to Bilal, who misses the layup. No one picks up the front cut. Great take to the hoop. Is That's going to be goaltending. So the run continues. It's an 8-0 run for Austin. They're 18 down. Glass of two is no good. Great follow. And Bielan again outworks the whole of Ostend. How frustrating is that? You get the poor shot, you get the miss, and then an unopposed put back. And the burst in the lane. Takes a floater. Doesn't get the two shot to go. Great work on the glass. Thompson can't complete the offensive put back. simply has to make both get the momentum got a little bit and he's just having a awful night at the office oh for two again but i think he's going to get that one back I rim that one in and out. Still a 16-point game. Early entry. Milan has it in the post. Will hand off. Quick release for three is long. And the ball's hunted down. And Thompson on the follow gets the two. Close it to a 14-point game. As I say, if they get it to 10 by the start of the fourth, this team, this game is game on. Spisu gets it off. Evans can't get it to drop. Big trip down the floor here for Olsten. Down full team with the basketball. Three minutes to go in the third. Hurst, sweet little spin, and we're at 12. And the timeout hasn't stopped the bleeding for Cesari. We did say they do have periods where they dry up. Nice find for Spesu is off. And this is one of those moments. Wide open look. Scores and stops. It's all it's about. It's the obvious thing to say, but if you just concentrate on it in that perspective, Redverse turns down the screen, gets a little space inside with the bounce pass. Thompson completes it, and we are at 10. A 
Oh, baseline penetration just really did take Angola by surprise. Brian Angola. Ostend really do need him to find a way to contribute right now. Like Swartz checks in, and Gola sits. Oh, back to a 12-point game on the back of the two three throws. Vitali goes to. 12 personal and the first. Thompson in the block, trying to go to work, is fouled on the rip through. Good second step, tries to get through the contact. 146 to go in three, 12 point game. Thompson again steps to the free throw line. Simply have to keep the scoreboard ticking over. Well, to say he's having an absolute nightmare when his team really need him to drag them back in. He really is struggling. And 0 for 2 again. Siobhan Thompson is 1 for 8. In a game they trail by 15. He is 1 from 8 from the free throw line. Half the margin on the back of his missed free throws. Fourteen point game. It's got to be at this end. Another turnover. Much improvement from here from Austin. And the burst gives it up. The pass just late. It took him behind the basket. Another opportunity off of defense goes begging. And Salah has nowhere to go. But he finds himself on the free throw line for the foul. Chance to get this back to a 12 point game. Get it to single digits. Get over the hump. Well, Salah is 0 for 2. Thompson is 1 for 8. It's a combined 1 for 10. Make that a combined 1 from 11. And they are literally losing this game from the free throw line at the moment. Joel stops, pops, is long. And another opportunity for Olsten with 50 seconds to go in the third. The spins, gets a reposition on the screen. Inside, outside, open, three is long. Thompson's on the glass, he's fouled. 
And you almost say, unfortunately, he's fouled because he's going to have to go to the free throw line knowing he's shot one from eight. Gentile checks back in. Thompson makes the free throw. Huge sigh of relief in the gym from the Ostend fans. Not that there's that many of them. Thompson goes two for two from the line. Huge relief for Ostend. 30 seconds just over. Remain in the third. Ah, oh, simple. Straightforward. Back out to 13. And if it's uh, not that it's a sign you want to see if you're an Ostem fan, if you're a Cesari fan, you're going to love Deshaun Pierre coming back in. <laughs> 28 seconds remain in the third. You'd expect Cesari to take as many of the 28 as they can. Salah sits. Swartz baseline needs a pass, finds a pass, steps into the gap between the defense and the three point line is no good. There's still five seconds on this. They set the feet. Is off. Will they get the one away? No, they won't. So after training by as many as 20, Ostend have dragged themselves back into contention. It's still a 14-point game, but they're in credit on the second half. There's confirmation. 67 to 53. Ostend trying to fight their way back into this. Statistically, Cesari down at 33 on the three-point line. Ostend at 29. They just cannot get over the hump, Ostend. They've fought hard in that third quarter to get it to 10. Have come up a little short. But they have now got Cesari thinking about things, not just running through things and playing. So this is going to go all the way down to the wire. Here we go then, start of the fourth quarter. Ostend with possession. Boosie. Van der Hurst has it, gets the high screen from Thompson. Van der Hurst stops and pops, doesn't get it to drop. And a chance for Cesari to run, and they have bodies down the floor. 
Turned it straight back over though. Salah needs a pass, finds it. Van der Verst. Thompson just about gets that. Will take the foul. Jamal McLean with the personal. Open for three is no good. Offensive rebound. If you put yourself in the right position, you have a major chance. Simon Boisey gets the two. Giles will kick it. The long two is short. And Van der Verst has another chance. And five red shirts down the floor. Van der Verst gets to the foul line. Thompson once gets inside. Is fouled on his way to the hoop. Plenty of time left. There's options for Ostend here. Paracelli sits. So on the end line, Van der Verst. Just a great defensive effort by Ostend. They're digging in here. They can just get it to single digits, get over that double digit hump. Van der Verst really leading from the front. Angola has it. Trying to find options. Van der Verst will take the ball screen. Thompson rolls. Van der Verst needs a pass. The pass was never there to Thompson, but he gets hold of it. Tries to go up, has it knocked away. Chance for Sazali to tick it over. Baseline penetration, drops it inside. Bieland's going up, gets contact again. Excellent penetration by Deshaun Pierre. When baseline drew help, dropped it inside. The Bieland finds himself on the free throw line again. And the big Croat is having an excellent night of basketball. First from the line. Takes him on to 17 points personal with this one to come. And he does. Eighteen points have been out. Four rebounds, two assists. Just doing a marvelous job. 14 point game. Just cannot get below 10. See for three is good and that's deep. Simon Bicey. 11 point game.
seven minutes, just under the goal. First penetrates, is fouled, and Bilam will pick him up. Van der Vers taking it inside against the big man. Finds himself on the floor. Here he goes. Bilan comes over and takes the hit. Third foul for Bilan. End line possession. Oh, it's a slip. Van der Verst hangs on when he hung on for all his worth to get the jump ball. And again, another slip on the vinyl lines. Van der Verst is going to check out. Just slipped on the, literally slipped on the three point line. into the half court 14 point game they just cannot again a blocking foul Carl McIntosh and this one it's Swartz trying to put their bodies on the line but it's another foul called on Ostend End line possession. Quick release on the three is good. Oh, Gentile gets his feet set so quickly. First points of the night. They try to answer. Swartz goes inside. Extra pass, Thompson off the glass is good for two. Vitali, extra pass to the corner. Oh, tough finish. Super move by the Jean Pierre to show you the quality he has, shows you the ability to exploit the mismatch. So time out, time running out for us then. And Cesari almost, you have the feeling they're almost just doing enough to manage the margin. You see Cesari's points drying up. We said that's what this would happen. They do run into issues at times. This is the Austin that's just running out of time to score enough points. Uh, that's a turnover. 
and as we said earlier on in the night, when it's raining on you, it's pouring on you. Van der Verst, who's single-handedly increased the tempo, got his team going back in, just mishandles the ball inbounds and turns it over. 17 could become 19, could become 20. Pierre has it inside, wraps the pass. Sepesu goes inside, Bilan inside, outside. Vitali in the lane, tries to scoop one for two. On the wrong end of a 19-point margin. Now their objectives, yes, if they can get back into the game, great, but you can't have a huge loss. Offensive foul called, and the problems just keep mounting up for Austin. Could be a very long five minutes for Ostend here. 79 to 60. Spesu in the half court. Attacks the screen. Gets inside. Needs a pass. Bilan will hand it off. The three is gone. Is long. Great effort by Bilan. Throws it back in. Is he rewarded? No, he's not. Thompson has. Off the glass is no good from Pierre. He's done. A, he's done another dominant display. Van der Verst. And there's a foul. That'll be Cesare's fourth team foul with 4:23 remaining. Uh, McIntosh sits for Philo Austin. Uh, Van der Verst. Awkward foul, could get reviewed. chance to make this a 20-point game, which with no trouble at all. Marco Sipisu on the free throw line. But technicals all around here. That 21. Lots of technical fouls all around. Cancelled each other out. Oh, tough looking three is no good. Gets a drop though after that little have a look. And then drop.
Inside, outside, turned over. The long three is no good. And again, they outwork. And with 3.20 to go. Cesari just managing time now. Time and possession. Tali moves it on. Attacks the lane. Beautiful little move. The second step gathered. Got balanced. Great quick first step. Van der Verst has it. We'll take the ball screen. That's another example of what talent this team has. Swartz adds to his personal tally. Goes to nine personal. The good thing for Cesari when they share the ball. They really have played well this evening. Only some of Ostend's problems will be down to their lack of personnel. Metaverse comes off the screen. Nice pass. Ball reversal, second side, throw it back to the first side. Extra pass, attack the closeout, step back for the three, is no good. And the Masala, again, coming up with reasonable stats. All the way for two. Tilly goes to seven personal. Auspicious end to this game. All the work's been done, though. Prosecco's not going to be a happy coach when he sees plays like that, but his team have 85 points. They're up 15. They've been dominant for large chunks of the game. There's a minute to go. And the verse. And Austin should be trying to get this as close as possible. Points difference could be a factor in all of these regular season groups. It's on the foul line, goes and puts it down inside. Poor shot selection, chance to run the other way. Oh, he looked everybody off with a pass. Bilan ran the floor well. But the pass looked everybody off. Last 30 seconds of what's been a dominant display by Sasali. In the lane is no good. So Bilan, it's a really good reception from the fans. Nice touch to take him out. Fundamental to the win. Fifth personal. Second one is good. Four 
float that one to beat the trap. Nice handoff, nice tempo. Cesari inside, outside, wide open three. It's good. Excellent offense. Excellent sharing of the ball. Sorakas gets the three, but that's a team three. And that'll do it. Coach Prosecco has led Sazali to a crucial win, albeit only week three. Here's the final score confirmation, 90 to 71. The only two numbers that really matter. Dynamo Cesari getting back in the groove, get a win. So the home fans are happy. Austin. It's always going to be a tough ask with the players missing. You thought they might find a way to compete. At times, they really did. So Austin lead the floor. Here are the numbers. 90-71 are the only two that really matter, but 55% for Cesari. 38 from three. It was much better than that, than that early. So the Cesari players walked the floor, thanking the fans for what was some really vocal support. Well, Bielan top scores for Cesari. Fatali had a nice game with 15. Pierre, not quite up to the average, but Another solid game by the Canadian. And he and things bode well for Cesari as this season is going to develop. The fans enjoyed the game. The mascot was good even. And what they've got now is a nice little slot. Joined second in the group with a reasonable size win, which should hold them in good stead for the end of season. Zari had Bilan in particular was tremendous. The Croatian big man really got it done at both ends of the floor. And he really did give the talent that Cesari have on the perimeter the chance to play. There was a couple of times in that second half that Austin threatened to get into the game, but they could never get it to single digits in a meaningful way. And that psychological barrier of being double digits behind is all was always there. Well, after the last couple of weeks, Austin just need to refocus, regroup. Remember what made them a good team last year. And that'll move them forward very quickly.
So both teams will move on from here. And next week, Cesare will go to Poland. Ostenda at home to Lichtabilis. So both teams have chances to build on those performances. There are the current standings in Group A. Cesare up to third. Ostend down in seventh, but plenty of time to make those, to change that. Well, that's the end of the action for game day three. Hope you've enjoyed it from Cesare from Sardinia. It's good night.